Hey guys, Fire here from In Depth Gaming, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out Dashing Orange. This game is developed by Nicholas Machado and published by Jandusoft. It releases on March 30th, 2023. We don't quite know the price yet for the game, but I wanted to share my thoughts, let you know what I think, and you know, yeah. So, what is Dashing Orange? It's a platformer. I'm going to start off by just talking and showing you some of the earlier levels and then I'll move on. But just the main premise of the game is you can do time runs on levels, but you are basically just this little blob. You'll start to earn little abilities and stuff as you play, and your goal is to get from one end of the level to the other end of the level. Now, there's nothing really else to do aside from get to this objective. You don't collect anything, it's just a... You know, can you make it and survive? Now, the game does have checkpoint flags. As you can see right here, this flag saves my progress, so that if I do die here, it respawns me here. Now, the, st the starting levels for this game do get to be pretty easy, but the game, I promise you, does ramp up in its difficulty extremely well. Now, you're going to start to get introduced to all kinds of mechanics in the game, whether it's moving paths, elevator risers, different ways that these spike traps spawn, and how you have to kind of parkour yourself around the level. And the game does a really good job at, like, slowly introducing you to these mechanics and not making you have to learn everything all at once. But it does make you have to practice the different skills that you are learning so that you can get through the levels and successfully survive. Um, what I do enjoy about the game is, like I said, you can speedrun this with like what you're seeing here on my clock. Is if you start level one, I believe after you beat all of all the levels in the game, so basically completing the 75 levels, you then get a chance to do a speedrun clock through the entire game to see how you can rank against other people in the world. So if you're a speedrunner or a fan of speedrunning and things like that, I think this is a game that's going to definitely fill a notch in that belt for those type of players. Me personally, I'm not really a speedrunner, so, you know, this is more just something that's fun to show off while we're reviewing. I would tend to get more frustrated. Now, let's talk about the game and what games I think this is very similar to. If you've ever played games on the 360 or even some of them that have appeared on the Xbox One, such as Super Meat Boy or N+, this is probably the closest I can really pair the games to being relatable to. If you like Super Meat Boy, if you like N+, those style games, I definitely think that Dashing Orange would be a game that would be really fun for you. You know, it's not one that's overly difficult. It's one that's just fun enough, but also just frustrating enough at the same time. I do like that the levels do show you, you know, where the little orange blob kind of left its mark last. So you do get to see, like, how you're progressing through things. And you can kind of maybe, you know, take mental notes of where you failed the time prior and how you can adjust to not fail in the future. Um, I would love to see somebody try to do like a full speed run through the game and really see how long it would take you. Um, for me, it took me just a few hours to complete this game. I want to say about two hours. And there are levels that were strugglesome for me. And, you know, that's something that I have enjoyed while playing this game. Is trying to just fail and succeed and figure out the pathways. The game will make you use your brain. For some things and other things, it will literally test your ex te t test, not test, test your excessive frustration. So let's dive up into like level 50, so you can see a little bit more advanced stages of the game. You know where we start to get introduced to disappearing platforms and how we have to navigate our way around through, you know, double jumps that we have to pair up with as we try to just time everything to be able to complete out the levels that we're in. As you can see, I've got platforms that are constantly, you know, just trying to kill me. And that's really the whole point of this game, is the game wants you to fail. And while you're failing, you're going to have to try to figure out the ways to succeed. And really just timing things here. So like, for example, these saw blades, I don't want to jump until they're starting to go up. And that's really just a lot of the trial and error as you try to progress through stages here. It's a lot harder to do when you're talking, for sure. But, you know, I hope that this is giving you guys a good, like, overview impression of the game. 
to be able to help make a valid decision on whether you want to pick the game up. Now, for me, I do find that there are parts of the game, such as this portion you just saw there, where switching from using your analog stick to navigate to using your D-pad for like straight up jumps is definitely something that helps make your precision a lot easier. And I would highly recommend it if you find yourself getting stuck on areas or portions of this game. Um, I'm going to kind of back out to the menu here because I don't want to show off all the levels. Like I said, there's 75 plus levels. I will note that when I got through and beat the final level, there's two levels that get really challenging, including, you know, some maze ones and stuff. Um, when I beat level 75, it started to play an additional level, but it was in no way correlated to the achievements. And all the achievements in the game are just for beating levels, so just play through the game. It does a nice job of giving you that rewarding feeling giving you an achievement pretty much every three levels you beat so it feels like you're actually earning something then and you're getting rewarded for the efforts you're taking place i'd say about every five to ten levels you'll notice a difficulty progression jump up but yeah outside of that as far as an opinion of i think dashing orange is worth picking up i'd say if it comes in around the 10 12 dollar price point it's definitely worth picking up i've had a lot of fun with it and i hope you all consider picking it up as well if you want to see more uh footage on the game or have any questions Please let me know down below in the comments. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're stuck on levels and want to see me maybe make like a level guide, let me know down below as well. Outside of that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll catch you next time.